Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at the Windows 10 Mobile Creators Update. This is a minor update rolling out for Windows 10 Mobile users in the coming weeks that's packing a number of new features and enhancements over the last major version of Windows 10 Mobile, which was the anniversary update back in August of last year. So as I say, this is a minor update, so the new features and enhancements aren't you know, huge. They are much smaller compared to the desktop creators update and much smaller in comparison to the anniversary update for Windows 10 Mobile. So diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with the sounds. More specifically, the default sound in Windows 10 Mobile has been changed to something slightly different. So if we go in here and jump down to messaging, you'll see that um, this sound here is the new default sound for all apps in Windows 10 Mobile. So if you're not somebody who customizes their notification sounds, that's the noise you'll hear from now on when receiving notifications through apps, which uh, some of you may like, others may not. You can always change it back if you'd like. Moving on to the next noteworthy change, some of the stock apps can now be uninstalled, such as Calculator. You see, I'm going to uninstall it if I like. Uh, there's also, let's see, Groove Music can now be uninstalled. You can also uninstall things like Tips. Uh, and so on. So a select amount of stock apps can now be uninstalled. Not all of them, so you can't uninstall the store app for obvious reasons, but a lot of these stock apps can now be uninstalled along with a lot of the third-party apps as well, which is very nice indeed. Moving right along, the next noteworthy changes are with autocorrect. Now you can add and remove words from the autocorrect dictionary quite easily. So for example, if I'm trying to spell because rather than because, uh, usually Windows would try to correct that to because, but if I didn't actually want to spell that, I can add because to my dictionary here. So next time I spell because, it will not correct it to because. However, if I accidentally added the case to my auto dictionary and I don't want it there, I can select that word and you'll see that there's now a negative or a minus sort of icon next to the word the case. And if I select that, Windows will no longer try to correct it to the case every time I spell because or try to spell the case. So now uh, the case is now a wrong word in the dictionary and I can now select it to because. So that's one of the nicer changes to Windows 10 Mobile if you're a big user of the autocorrect and word flow and, you know, suggestions bar and whatnot. Moving right along, Microsoft Edge has received a, a new thing, basically, books. You can now download and read books directly on your phone if you're in the United States. This should roll out to more countries in the future, but as of right now, it's available in the United States. And tapping on Get Books will take me to the Windows Store where I can now download books. So there's a whole sort of area here in the, in the Windows Store now books area, just like on, you know, Amazon Kindle bookstore and the iOS bookstore, there's now a Windows bookstore and I can, you know, read books here. So women in business, if I tap on that, I can see all the books that are in here uh, and download one girl code. That sounds awesome. So if we go in here, I can download it or buy it if I wanted to. And then I could read it within Microsoft Edge and they would save into this area in Edge and I can tap on it and read it much like any other reading experience, which is incredibly fancy and something many readers would enjoy. So moving right along, the next noteworthy changes are with the settings app. The settings app has received a number of needed changes and improvements with the creators update. For example, the Wi-Fi area is now the same Wi-Fi experience you'll find on the desktop. You get the same design and the experience is basically the same as you would find on the desktop. So I can manage no networks down here. I can remove this one and so I can just show you what it's like when adding a network. So if I tap on this here. I can now type my password and uh, and there we go, I'm now connected and the experience is a lot more streamlined and much more faster. There's now some additional settings here as well, which are very nice indeed. And you can uh, take a look at that. So there's Hotspot 2.0 networks, Wi-Fi services and whatnot. So Wi-Fi Sense and all that stuff has been sort of merged into this Wi-Fi experience here, which is very nice. Data usage has also received some updates. There's this new overview area up here, which gives you a, a more detailed sort of look at what's using internet on your device which is very nice indeed you can also set a limit and you can also change some options down here such as restricting background access and changing uh, whether you should use your cellular connection when wi-fi is poor now these are all features that were in the anniversary update i believe they've just been redesigned and recategorized in the settings app with the creators update which is much needed in my opinion bluetooth is also another area that received some ui changes the experience is slightly different when adding bluetooth devices now i can press this button here and it will take me to this window or page which allows me to add bluetooth mice keyboards screens and whatnot which is great and there's also a contextual area down here 
where you'll see different sort of options depending on the page in settings that you are in. If we jump into personalization and glance, you'll see that there's now a new option to always show glance screen when charging. Now this was a big feature request return for Windows 10 Mobile. This was a feature with Windows Phone 8.1, but the Windows 10 Mobile and the Lumia 950 series, Microsoft got rid of the option for showing glance when charging. But now with the creators update, it's back, which is pretty exciting. There's a whole new category called apps here, which just kind of puts all of the app settings and stuff into the settings app in its own specific area. And there's now the ability to reset apps. So if an app isn't working for you, such as it won't launch or some saved data is corrupt, you can come into here and say for the alarms and clock app, for example, I'm going to advanced options and I can press on reset, although that app specifically cannot be reset. Let's try another one. Let's try Audible. Yes, I can reset this app. And it says this will permanently permanently delete the app's data on this device, including your preferences and sign-in details. I can tap reset and that will reset the app back to as if it was a newly installed app, which is fantastic. So up next is Windows Update. Windows Update now has a new option for giving you more notifications before it does a restart. So this is great for those of you who need your phones on constantly uh, and were kind of taken by surprise when Windows Update would try to restart to install an update. Now you can switch this on and if there is an update pending, Windows will let you know several times throughout the day that there is an update pending and you know give you warnings. So you will be prepared when an update is ready to restart your device. Also active hours has changed. You can now make active hours last up to 18 hours, which is great for those of you again who need to use your devices more often than not. Now, if we jump into personalize here, you'll see that the lock screen area now has a new option for continuum. Now you can lock your device when using continuum finally, which basically allows you to turn off the screen on the phone and continue using a continuum experience. And you can change how long the external screen times out after. So by default, it's five minutes, but you can change it up to 30 minutes and even never, which is great indeed. Now, Windows Hello is another area with the creator's update that has received some updates. Now, it's not particularly faster, but it does work from further away now. No longer do you have to hold the phone up to your face for Windows Hello to actually see your iris and log you in. You can hold it at a more natural distance and Windows Hello should log you in absolutely fine as you can see there. And I wasn't even holding it up to my face. I know you can't see me, just believe me. Uh, it's a much uh, needed improvement to Windows Hello and one that actually kind of catches you off guard every so often because more often than not, I will find that the new Windows Hello will uh, catch me and log me in without me actually wanting it to, which was never the case before. So much needed improvements there, very nice indeed. And finally, Cortana is just a little bit more smarter. So you can do things such as change your volume with voice. You can look for radio stations depending on apps you've got. So iHeartRadio, for example. And she's even got a new function called Pick Up Where I Left Off, which will allow you to sync sort of tabs and apps between Windows 10 PCs and whatnot. It's quite on here. Oh, it's not here because I've changed that something. Give me just a sec. So if we jump into notebook here, you'll see that there's a pick up where I left off button. And basically what this allows you to do is when you have multiple Windows 10 PCs, if I'm browsing the web on one of them, I can see exactly what that PC is doing here and pick up where I left off, hence the name, which is absolutely fantastic. But apart from that, that's pretty much it for the Windows 10 Mobile Creators Update. It's a lot more snappy, works better on low end devices as well. So if you're using a Lumia 550 or 650 or even older, such as the 930 or 830 series, this update should work a little bit more fluidly on that device. But hey, there you have it, guys. That's a very quick look at the Windows 10 Mobile Creators Update. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.